I'm Jennifer Famery Mariani, and today I'm the face of America. My name is Jennifer Famery Mariani. I'm an independent curator, and my passion is to design experiences that um, build community, that inspire people, um, that educate people. Uh, and I would say what I enjoy the most about my work is really connecting things that are not typically connected, uh, bringing talents that don't typically interact, um, and, and making something very special out of that interaction. Am I arrogant? Um, I really hope I'm not, and if I am, I need to definitely correct that. I think humility is a very important thing uh, to have generally in operating you know, business, being an entrepreneur, um, and trying to have creative, um, you know, positive impact. I think humility is very important, um, so I hope not. I hope I'm not arrogant. What is the role of art in society? And, and uh, I think it's, um, it depends on the person um, and their perspective with regards to art. It can be you know, a way um, for people to expand their minds. Uh, it can be a sign of social status. Uh, for my part, um, and I think that art is a, has an incredible power as a connector uh, within the society in terms of creating bonds, in terms of opening people's minds. Um, and it can enable uh, a lot of changes, positive changes in other industries in the arts. Um, so I see it more as a um, in everything I do, I try to create positive impact um, and kind of break the barriers between different types of disciplines or different types of creative expressions. What kind of advice um, I would give to a woman uh, who wants to be an entrepreneur? Uh, I, I would say go for it, first of all. I think it's a fabulous experience to be an entrepreneur um, because you're trying to create uh, something that would not exist without you. Um, and I think that's, uh, that's something really uh, impactful. Uh, what I would say is, um, you know, uh, think clearly about what your goals are. I think having a clear understanding of what you're trying to achieve is the first step to achieving that. And I think the second thing would be to find a role model, someone that's already achieved something you're trying to do, um, so that you can, um, you know, be inspired and look, benchmark what they've done. And um, that I think will, um, you know, kind of make you progress much faster than trying to learn it on your own, uh, looking up at someone that's already achieved something like that. So that's for an entrepreneur. As a woman, I think that um, the strongest way to be a woman entrepreneur is to kind of uh, release the aspect of gender. Uh, an entrepreneur for me is, uh, is, doesn't have a gender. It's a state of mind. It's a, it's a form of action. It's an approach to life. And uh, so I would say drop the gender, just be an entrepreneur, have impact, be action oriented and, uh, and connect with other people. And that's, that's my advice.